darkness and the debate around the rollout of the thin SIM technology appears to be going nowhere fast. After receiving approvals from regulators for a one-year trial run, equity has seen its move challenged in court. But as KTN's Joy Doreen Bira reports, the bank says it's not forcing anyone to use the service and will soldier on with its plans. Despite reservations from telecom giant Safaricom and a court case filed by a data analyst and an equity bank customer asking for a review of the data protection laws, Kenya's fast mobile virtual network has taken off. Equity Bank maintains Equitel is only making financial services more inclusive and accessible to its over 6 million customers. Our customer is being asked to take a thing. You can remain in the ATM, you can remain in the counter. So <laughs> equity is not comparing, it's not taking away all the other facilities. Equity insists that Equitel's biggest selling point is giving Kenyans a choice to control their money at all times without having to alter their regular SIM cards to access the banking services. Equitel is about people's money. It's about their money, their phone, and about... So there's no competition here between telecoms and banks. The thin SIM allows users to use modern tools to secure their transactions, allowing money transfer across all banking facilities at no charge. This offering is poised to draw customers from Equity's telecom rival, Safaricom's M-Pesa, which currently dominates the market. It's as disruptive as giving the low-income Kenyans the same benefits that are enjoyed by the high-income Kenyans who are able to afford smartphones. Equity's much-anticipated thin sim, which embodies 76 functionalities, is set to be launched any time from now. Joy Doreen Bira, KTN Business.